Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiba Reynoso. Ahead, turning a spotlight on successful women, plus murals as an act of resistance, and taking in beautiful vistas in Long Beach. But first, more women are joining the ranks of the LA County Fire Department, but uniforms made for men haven't kept pace with the times. That's all changing with a new focus on designing and manufacturing uniforms to meet the aesthetic and practical needs of women. Here's more. <music> having our first ever women's uniform and PPE personal protective equipment expo. Uh, we have our different county vendors that are here uh, to talk with our women firefighters and our lifeguards who need better fitting uniforms. When I first came on the job, there were very few women on the job. So it was kind of up to us to find something that fit and make it work for us, whether it was through tailoring or whatnot. And if you think about it, you know, we shop in a women's uh, department just as men shop in a men's department. So we're here talking to the vendors. So hopefully we can not only get measured, but it's based on a women's pattern. Because most of what's out there in the industry right now is based on a men's pattern. What's great about this event today is that there are so many vendors that are starting to take the female form into account. So it's not just a one-size-fits-all type of department anymore, and they're allowing uniforms that kind of make everybody's job a little bit easier, from normal medical calls to the actual fire ground. It, it's important that, that women have well-fitted turnouts because that's their protection when they're in hazardous environments and in a structure fire. It allows them to, maintain, to be safe, to not get burned. It also prevents cancer-causing chemicals from coming into contact with their skin. So it's really more than just how they look. It's how the uniforms and the PPE protect our employees, how they function. They must be well-fitted. We've made great strides in protection in uniforms, and I think this is the next step for women on the job and female firefighters to have a uniform that not only fits and that's comfortable and it's easy to get, but that it also increases safety issues across the board. So that's one thing we shouldn't have to worry about is safety. But again, uh, the ease of getting it and the comfort of wearing it all day long, that's just the next progression and a natural step for us. L.A. County Supervisor Hilda Solis hosted an International Women's Day reception at the Hall of Administration to recognize women making an impact in our communities. Happy International Women's Day! With women like you, working together, strategizing, organizing, and contributing your unique perspectives and values to addressing society's pressing issues, I know that we will create real, meaningful change. As we celebrate this special uh, International Women's Day, I think this room really exemplifies that. It really shows who we are. This is a day where women are recognized at this event. Uh, and I love that it's, it's uh, women business entrepreneurs, women who work for corporations. It's just a celebration. I'm super passionate about the empowerment and the uplifting of women, especially our youth. It's so important to pour into their lives to just share and empower them and letting them know that they can just be whoever they want to be. It's really important to be here today because there's so many inspiring women here today, including my grandma. And just like seeing all the awards they get inspires me to like make a difference and to like achieve all of my goals. Think about all those special people in your life whether it was your mother, your grandmother, your abuelita, your aunt, your sister, or maybe just a friend, a female who, who took you under their wing and helped you, gave you guidance, and maybe it was just a, a matter of someone listening to you that helped to motivate you to be where you are. My message to all of the young women out there is to basically do the best that you can, strive for the moon because uh, the moon is out there for you to take and you can be a change agent uh, for inspiring future generations as well. As we as women pour into ourselves and our community, healing ourselves and healing others, there's nothing we can't do. 
The Los Angeles County Commission on Human Relations has unveiled a series of murals as part of its LA versus Hate initiative to promote tolerance. This mural in Long Beach celebrates the LGBTQ community. Take a look. Our strategy for recognizing that there have been communities here in LA County who have been targeted consistently with hate crime, with acts of hate, and that they are the ones who experience it most in our county. And we're talking about the African American community, the black community, the Latino community, Latine community, the uh, LGBT community, and the Jewish community. We wanted to really uplift those communities and also recognize, you know, that they're communities which are almost struggling against invisibility, like the indigenous communities for so long have been a part of our communities, are the first ones that were in this land, but yet are in many ways not recognized, not appreciated. We actually worked with communities to say, what is it that you think is important for you to uplift so that you can really show that sense of belonging that you have with here in LA County? And what could you do to really help to convey the connectedness of, of your community with our larger community and the unity within your community? This is an image of the mural in Long Beach at Bixby Park. And it represents the embrace of the many communities that are part of Long Beach. This image is created by sort of like different vignettes and different scenes. So these are kind of broken down by the arms and the, and the head figure, the shoulder. And they each show different spaces um, that represent different spaces in Long Beach. So like the open, the openness of the ocean, Bixby Park is right by the ocean. You can see it from the mural and vice versa. Um, the nightlife, also hospitals, right? Care is so important, not just the, the, the party scene. Also right here, we see a lot of historic figures from the founders of Pride, of Long Beach Pride, students, Cal State Long Beach, a lot of organizations that were supporting fellow community members. This is a beautiful effort. Like our, what we're doing as visual artists is just putting it in images. Solidarity has always been there. We're just painting it. A lot of community came out and spoke about their experience about being part of the LGBTQIA2 plus community and also being allies and just being part of, of Long Beach. And it all was not separate, right? Like being an ally, being queer, being part of Long Beach, being a person of color, a person with disability, and an environmental is like, it all was overlapping and, and everybody felt like they were sort of in the same community and very much embracing each other. My hope is for the queer community to see it and know that there's people in history, people in their community, their neighbors, in the future, people will always be supporting and like you're never really alone. Like there's always the embrace. They're going to recognize that uh, this is something special. For me, it evoked a sense of awe at the, the meaning, at the beauty of it and the richness of it in terms of the imagery and the different symbols and references to community history. The panels that go along with it help to tell some of that background, who the community partners have been, and also provide a resource for people to know that they need to take action when they see hate happening. Something that we're trying to change the culture of. Uh, art is part of our culture and it's an important part of our culture. Stop the hate made me feel like I belong. And I know I belong, but... Thank you. Thanks for joining us. We leave you now with scenes from Bluff Park in Long Beach. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up.